On June 18th, the U.S. Supreme Court had ruled that DACA, otherwise known as the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, could not be blocked by the current presidential administration. However, confusion on what exactly DACA is and how it works is still an ongoing discussion. I had the chance to interview Professor Claire R. Thomas, the director of the Asylum Clinic at the New York City Law School and an expert on immigration law at the Women Media Center to give a better understanding on DACA. DACA you know, stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. And so this is a program that was announced on June 15, 2012, uh, by you know, then-President Barack Obama. And it was implemented by a person who was the secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. And at that time, it was uh, Janet Napolitano. So the policy, it effectively enables young people who came to the United States before they turned 16 to apply for what's called deferred action. Deferred action is a type of prosecutorial discretion. It allowed uh, these immigrant youth, quite frankly, to have protection from deportation and a work permit permit for a certain period of time. In terms of the overall picture of the current situation, Professor Thomas noted how much work needs to be done on our immigration system and, despite the recent Supreme Court ruling, how the current presidential administration's anti-immigration rhetoric has caused some difficulty. The big picture of it all, I think, is that our immigration system, quite frankly, has a lot of problems. Um, If that wasn't clear, everybody, I think the current administration, and then compounded with COVID-19, has made it very clear just how problematic um, and how not only politicized, but really how broken our immigration system is, where it is perhaps working how it was designed, which is effectively, you know, to prioritize the case of white, able-bodied men, shall we say, Mm -hmm. but for folks who don't fit into that category, um, you know, a large majority of people, right, um, that the system doesn't protect them and that this administration has become increasingly more vocal in its anti-immigrant sentiments and its racist words, right? All of that comes into play to just really make it incredibly difficult. Thank you to Professor Claire R. Thomas from the Asylum Clinic and Women's Media Center for this important interview. For Newsline, I'm Alyssa Fielding.